Meantime, now let's address the growing political fallout from the White House's cocaine conundrum with 2024 Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. Vivek, it's always great to have you on. We certainly could not bring you on with talking about this White House cocaine caper because there is just such a ridiculously little amount of information that's being released. What's your take on it? I mean, the lack of transparency is really staggering, Trace. But if I'm going to joke around about it, I'll say that, you know what? Maybe the presidential debate prep has begun (laughs) and Joe Biden is actually responding. I'm actually not making this up. Earlier today, there was an announcement from the FDA that there's literally a shortage of Adderall in this country. So the coincidence seems to tee up for at least a little joke and some fun we can have with it. Yeah, it really is kind of an amazing. We're going to find out more in the coming days. Meantime, I want to talk 2024. President Biden was in South Carolina today touting Bidenomics. Listen to him and I'll get your take. Bidenomics is just another way of saying restoring the American dream. 40 years of trickle down limited the dream to those at the top. But I believe that every American willing to work hard should be able to get a good job no matter where they live. Just about 70 percent of Americans say the economy is not working for them, Vivek, and he's running on Bidenomics. What do you think? Well, look, I think Bidenomics has been nothing but an unmitigated disaster. The one thing that he points to is that the so-called unemployment rate is low. But the real problem that we have in this country is that many people have voluntarily exited the workforce because the government has paid them more money to stay at home than to go to work. The real answer, Trace, is that we're slated to grow at less Mm -hmm. than 1% GDP growth this year. That is anemic. And the good news is we have a clear path to get back to 4-plus percent GDP growth. That's what I want to lead us to. Drill, frack, burn coal, embrace nuclear energy, put people back to work. The very things that President Biden seems to be opposed to are exactly what we're going to need to do if we grow our economy again. Peggy Noonan wrote the following in the Wall Street Journal. The first primaries are just more than six months away. The first GOP debate is next month. And yet the only thing to be sure of is that clear and consistent majorities of Republicans, Democrats and independents don't want the choice they're likely to get a race between Joe Biden and Donald Trump. And yet that appears the way it's looking right now. Well, I think that, Trace, we're very early in this race. We have to keep that in mind. Most of this country doesn't yet even know who I am yet, and I'm glad to see we're doing better in the polls than Donald Trump was doing Mm -hmm. even in June of 2015, by a wide margin, actually. And so I think it's still early in this race. I think the real race begins with the debate stage in August. I'm looking forward to that debate stage. History should teach us that this early on, all of those polls are really just noise anyway. But I'm looking forward to helping define what we stand for and why we stand for it. That'll be good for the Republican Party. And it'll be good for the country. You mentioned the debates. I mean, uh, take that the polls and I want to put the polls up. This is the GOP Republican primary voters. You can see uh, former President Trump at 56, uh, Ron DeSantis at 22 and the number three candidate there at 5 percent. How is it that Vivek Ramaswamy is ahead of a former vice president, a sitting senator and a former governor and ambassador? Well, what's most encouraging to our campaign is that that's against the backdrop of very low name ID still. So very little of this country still knows who I am yet. I'm hoping to change that with the start of the debates. What I will say, Trace, is that voters across this country seem to reward someone who's an outsider, who's unafraid to speak their mind actually in the open. And one of the things about me in this campaign is I am unconstrained. I would rather speak my mind freely and honestly at every step and honestly lose the election than to win by playing some political snakes and ladders. But the good news is so far that seems to be the winning strategy, and it's the one we're going to stick to. Vivek Ramaswamy, great to have you on as always. Best of luck. Thank you, Trace.